In this video, we're going to explore the math.squareRoot function in JavaScript. And the math.squareRoot function in JavaScript is a built-in function related to the math or the calculation part. Very similar to a calculator. And the square root is getting the square root value of an item, which is fine and probably very familiar with most of them. And if you've seen the power or the exponent, uh, or exponent of math.exponent. In this case, we're going to explore here the math.square root. And the math.pow is the one that we discussed in another video related to getting the exponent or the power of a certain value. So now we do exactly the opposite, this square root. All right, so let's start and explore how to do this. So the first thing what we need to do is here, right now we have here a basic JavaScript or a basic HTML file here, and we're going to work from here. What we're going to do is we're going to give it a constant, and this constant will be a number. Let's say we make this 100, or a constant uh, value will, let's say, num equals 100. Now we're going to search here, what is the square root of this? Probably 10. So let's start and explore. So we can say here, math, or we do first a console.log and the reason why we do that is we want to show it in our developer tab and see if this is a number being shown so right now there's no quotation mark so this is not a string meaning that this should be a number and we can check it as well here in the developer tab refresh the page once refresh nothing happens here but in the developer tab you can see here we get a message which is 100 and this 100 is colored blue this means that it is a uh, not a string but a number if it's a string it becomes grayed out let me show you so you have an understanding so you can see this color coding I do like the color coding here and that's why I probably reiterate this quite often however it's a good one to look all right so we have this 100 so what we're going to do now is let's get I use the math.square root to get the square root value out of num so we say here math dot make sure you just capitalize m dot SQRT for square root, shortcut for square root. Put in here parentheses, make sure this is a double parentheses here, and then save this. So, what happened here if we do this and refresh? You can see now we get the value number 10. So, this is basically how you get the square root. So, if you can get here, let's say 27, let's see what we get here. Refresh here, you get number 5. So, this is a quite nice one, and you can even come, you can play around with this. Let's say we have here another one. We're going to create an exponent. We could put in your pow for power exponent. And then here, pow, if you've seen my other videos, it covers this item here. And then make sure we have a comma here because there's two values here. So we want the exponent of. So let's say we have number uh, 10. And then we say this times 2. If we save this, you can see here now we have that. All right. We can put in here number 10. Then we will put in this here. We save this, refresh. Now you can see here we get all these kind of options here. This will be the square root. And what we can do here if we want to get, for example, you want to extract this back. So let's say this is 10. We put in here 10. And then what we want is this number should be this here. So we say, we're going to echo this out, or uh, comment this out, sorry, not echo out. We're going to remove this, put in here. We say num equals the power square root. Fair enough. And then what happens is here, you will see that it becomes 100, and then from 100 it goes back to 10. So let's save this, refresh here, comes 100, and then we go back to square root number 10 which is basically correct because the power is 10, so square root is also 10. All right, so this is basically how you can use that and how you can play around with that. And you can see this is more a calculator function if you're going to build a mini calculator within JavaScript. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions going to this, post them in the comment section below. And if you're interested in Chart.js, Check out my Udemy course in the description box. And the reason why this is quite useful, all these kind of mathematical parts, because if you're going to create a chart, you might use a lot of these kind of functions of chart well, in, from JavaScript into your chart.js or into your chart in 
from Chart.js. So just explore that as well.